high. Channel activities are going to be resuming tomorrow. July 18th. Currently early morning, July 17th for me. Yes. Uh, I have gone through the comments of all of my videos, uh, replied to ones I saw fit, so I'm all caught up, except for one video. This video. Yes. The, uh, the video I made while playing Mavis Beacon Teaches Typing. Also, this is Indy. Uh, during my last live broadcast uh, this past Sunday, uh, all of my viewers and I came to the consensus that all of my videos would, from hence off, feature her and I playing games together. That way I could make a fortune. Indy is a little warm right now. I've had her sitting in my lap for a few minutes uh, just to get accustomed to her weight. I usually don't let her in my lap, and she's panting due to the close proximity. And she's incredibly excited, and I'm not running my air conditioner. She's gonna have to cope, because there's 95 fucking comments to read. Also, a quick insight into my life as a content creator. Clicking on this comments thing now takes me to this shit. I don't want to read comments on this page. Shut up. Hush. No panting. Learn how to sweat through the rest of your body. So this is the thing. So... Nuts to that. I like to read comments by newest first, but as it turns out, when you have so many comments, it's only going to show you the last 50 comments. So we're going to have to go through top comments, peasant, super cool, awesome, social media asshole. Shut up. Cool down. Mode. So, let's get started with that. Let's read... Top comments, supposedly. How does that look? Fantastic. Ex Ruglia. I misread, misread this. As Mavis Bacon. Democracy. I have no idea of what to say. Others have very accurately described how I feel, how I too feel after watching this. But I strongly feel I need to say something anyway, in my own words. I am very afraid this will come out insincere and forced, and in one way it is forced. I've never been comfortable with commentating, posting the forums, etc., but I need to tell you how much I enjoy your Let's Get On With It. You know what? You can get down. You're clearly overheated by being with me. Go on. Maybe, maybe we can have a moment later, but you need to relax. Yeah, you need to relax. You're ruining everything. Clearly all of that prep work that I did getting you used to my lab just made you super heated. Well, how about this? Air conditioner is better. A lot of kinks to work through. I've never been comfortable with commentating, posting to forums, etc. But I need to tell you how much I enjoy your let's get on with it. How much they light up my weekends and how much less lonely they make me feel. My heart goes out to you and your family. The Doctorate. Cheers, Grimith. Life moves on, and you've done a lot of stuff for a lot of people, and that time isn't wasted. You have support here, and don't forget to change my playback device to be... Okay, good. Not that I'm playing any sound anyway, but it makes me feel better when I record things. Like, I actually have my headset plugged in, and I'm not actually wearing it. Ooh. The Pauls don't forget. I want to type so many things, but I'll just make it sound asinine. Or assign, as it's written. All I want to say is... It's good to have you back, Grimgrams. Only 12 days until the Reaver returns. Undertaker-kun? Mysterious JG. I don't think I have any words that can help you right now, as much as I wish I did. I spoke with JG during a Zerfall's charity live broadcast last weekend. Uh, from the other comments, you've obviously got a lot of people pulling for you. All I can suggest is that you do what I did after listening to this to cheer myself up. I decided to reflect on Griffith in happier times. To that end, I watched Let's Not Get On With It, Titans of Steel, Corpsing. Read the description for the first time in a few years. Seriously, give it a listen. Uh, that video was uh, me attempting to begin uh, uh, playing Titans of Steel. And I was just derailing myself with my intros. And there was just one time where I decided not to stop recording uh, at the start. I just kept going, and it was pretty silly. So that was that video. 
the Savage Oblivion. Uh, oh no, I missed Christopher Peer. I know watching your channel has helped me in my life, and I hope it continues to help you in yours. JG records content. Savage Oblivion also records content. Grimith, I know the words of random internet denizen and wargarble aren't that important in the grand scheme of things. There is dog hair floating around me. Quit licking yourself back there. Aren't them sounding hell, hell I don't know what word I'm looking for. Contrive, maybe? Meh, who knows? You're the divine wordsmith, after all, not me. I just want to take a moment to wish you the best in a time that I can't imagine the difficulty of, and to say that you are one of the main people that inspired me to get into this hobby. In some ways, it appears for similar reasons that I don't want to bore you with the details of. Just a note to say that, at least in my case, as I obviously can't speak for anyone else, that in your desire to improve the life of someone else, you've definitely succeeded with me, as your videos have never failed to bring a smile on a bad day, which are something I tend to have more of than I care to admit. When you are able and ready to return, I look forward to seeing more from you, and until then, as I said, I can only hope the best for you and yours. Old Dragon, who also participates in this activity, I've never been good at responding to these sorts of things, but for what it's worth, I hope things turn out as well as they can. I don't. Whenever I play with animals, I like to wash my hands. It, uh, it's a thing. I was a sickly kid. Like, even unscrewing this cap top bothers me. I know, Train! Everyone's gathered! Train's like, I'm back! I'm back! Cowboy Duke uh, cites a timestamp. My genuine laughing, I presume that's around uh, when the ants were cascading across the screen. Good to hear you laugh so heartily while telling us what has been going on. In regards to your detailing of your life and it is struggles, I can only offer empathy. I know what it is like to watch a family member to continuously get worse and worse, knowing that there is little of anything that can be done. I did it for eight years with my grandmother. I will not insult your intelligence by saying that everything will be fine and that things will get better. We both know that is not the case. All I can do is offer you the best, let you know that I, as well as all your viewers and friends, are here for you if you request or require us. Take care, Grimith, and take care, Grim, and stay strong. Take what time you need. We will wait for you in your e eternal get fucked attitude. We've all come to admire and dare I say, love. Respect Leor's Cowboy Duke. All right, Degurkin. Communicating as Degurkin does. Yeah, I realized the very moment I annoyed Grimith on Rahal's pre-stream, it hit me like a fucking freight train, because I am an idiot and don't think about people. This is but dire, yes. With me having a troubled relation to my parents with all the drug abuse and the ilk, I cannot begin to imagine what it would be like to have a great family. I mean, I know what it means to lose loved ones. The amount of chronic diseases and simply bad luck with doctors is infamous with my family's close ones. The only ones alive have borderline personality disorder and or autism and or might not be alive at this point in time because they went off somewhere into the Netherlands without warning. So losing somebody you actually constantly feel with, like I felt on so few occasions, sounds pretty soul-shattering to me. I like not to think about that sort of stuff, but it's appropriate to think about other people now. I also have had made experiences with suicide. Not me myself, but my sister, for example, or my mother on multiple occasions. My mother having autism and multiple addictions, and my sister having various mental deficiencies. I love the bit where my sister put her head in the oven to kill herself, but couldn't pull through with it because the oven was too hot. I had to laugh my ass off at that. That is like one of my most cherished memories. Jeez, I'm a bad person. I feel so bad for you, Grimith. If you look at any other comment, you will see what I feel. I can add nothing to these other people, and I think that is great. Great people around here. This is from 414 Johnny B. Through the years of watching these videos, it has been fairly clear to me that I probably share a fair deal in common with you, Grim. I have thought for some time that I could be wrong in that assessment, but I don't feel that way anymore. Now, obviously, the drive to continue to watch these videos has stemmed from that feeling, and the entertainment value I have received from your content comes from just how clearly you manage to view things. I'm gonna make that font bigger. Old man Grimith. Not that big, though, as it breaks my screen. How does that look on your view? Fantastic! Uh, 
and the entertainment value I've received from your content comes from just how clearly you manage to view things in a similar way to myself. It is an odd thing and a treat to be able to watch and hear someone speak in a voice which sounds like the voice I speak to myself with. It saddens me to have the knowledge that you have just bestowed upon us, because now I understand more clearly that I have been investing my time to watch someone who has been feeling the same way for the better part of his life as I have felt for the better part of my own life. I am only 22 years old, but I only remember 11 or 12 years, and that memory is foggy enough as it is. The last 10 years or so have been misery. I have tried to kill myself as well on several occasions, and unfortunately, I'm still here and still in pain. I get it, man, I really do. I'm not going to sit here and fucking type out bullshit about how life gets better, and you should value every second as much as possible, because I know that you don't give a fuck to hear someone you don't know tell you that your life isn't as fucking terrible as you are fully aware that it is. I will say this, your goal of improving the life of another person or other people has not failed. It has been an amazing privilege, and a true gift, and I mean this sincerely, to be able to spend my time enjoying the fruits of your labor and of your time, time which could have been spent with your family. Your presence has given me something to do when my mind... when-when my mind goes off as it often does. I don't know how much time other individuals have spent watching your videos. I spent quite a bit. Thank you, Vermouth. Thank you very much. Lord Cephleon. You cool down now? You wanna try this again? Just try again. Put your paws up, and I'll take care of the rest. And no, put the balls up. Put them up. <laughs> Do you not want to get back up here? You gotta help me. You gotta stay up here. Come on. Ugh. Come on, you weak bitch. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Bye. You're so strong, except when it comes to this, and then you're like, help me. I'm so weak. Are you camera shy? Is that what it is? It's okay. It's okay. Air conditioner says it's okay too. Mm. Okay. Lord Cephalon says, You've got lots of support from your friends and followers here on the tube, Grimoth. I can't say I understand your pain, but I know compassion. All I can do, any of us really, is to continue to support you throughout the ups and downs of your life. Since discovering you through 1F Jeff and indirectly Variex, you became one of my top five American YouTubers because of your honesty and your sarcasm. Anyway, I'm not going to say to be strong or chin up and seem like a demanding fool or anything like that, but one of these days, take a look around you and see how much you mean to others, even people you've never met in person. Whether an entertainer, a cynic, a friend, a fond of wisdom, or simply a kindred soul, you have made a difference in others' lives through your hard work. I'm sorry that so much sorrow and pain has hit you and your family. It takes a lot out of us to get through such ordeals, and we generally become better and stronger people for having suffered them. We're with you no matter what happens, Grimbraps. Kit42 says, you've got this, handle your family. We can wait until you're ready. Look, I need to scroll my fucking screen. Don't lick my fucking hand while I do that, bitch. You get your fucking pussy germs all over my keyboard. We're gonna need to have fucking talk. I do stuff with this keyboard. Do, have you seen how fast I type? I can't do that with your body slavered all over it. You don't understand me because your intelligence score is so low. No, you don't. It's okay, Andy. I still conditionally love you. Meandor 5, or V. Just want to wish you and your folks all the best. I'm not going to insult your int, speaking of, by coughing up cliches like everyone has problems, because that's just generally not true. Your state of mind is worrying, though. Don't you lick my mouse. You don't know where that's been. I don't know where that's been. <laughs> your state of mind is worrying, though, and it's sad to hear. I greatly appreciate your vids for some years now, though I don't comment much, and I sincerely hope that things will be alright for you and your family. E-man hug, no homo. You don't strike me as submissive, you actually seem to go your own way. 
Did I make this a topic during this video? Because whenever I look through the dashboard, I don't think this is the only person to have commented on this. I don't remember. Alright, you need to call the fuck out! We'll try this again later. <laughs> the Milk Yoris. I think I speak for a lot of people when I say that my heart goes out to you and your family in this obviously rough time in your life. I doubt that anything I can say as an outsider in an unknown quantity can reach you and make things better, but I hope that I can at least assure you that those of us who have been watching your highs and your lows for years, that we really do care for you as a person, regardless of whether we might know you on a more personal level. I can also tell you that I've dealt with life's bullshit for a long time. Uh, maybe... Maybe that was in reply to... No. Well, that was edited. Maybe that was in reply to, uh... A conversation that was had briefly on Zerfall's charity broadcast. Maybe. Uh... I can also tell you that I've dealt with life's bullshit for a long time, maybe even a lifetime. Your videos have had a positive effect on my life, and, you're, and you've even inspired me. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for making silly videos on the internet. Although we can't be there with you in person, know that we're there with you in spirit cheering you on, especially in hard times like these. Thank you, and please remember to take care of yourself, too. He asked me, you find strength in ninja babies. Christian Kid 101 Hey, Grimithar. Hi. I just wanted to let you know how appreciative I am of you and your hobby on this channel. Thank you for everything you do. You're the YouTuber that has helped me the most in helping me... Uh, with the humor in your videos and my life when it's hard. I lost my dad four years ago to a cardiac arrest in my home when I was there with my mom and twin brother. I was very close with my father. I too have seriously thoughts about suicide many times in the years since his death. My mom has been suffering a lot of health problems as well for years because of stress. My prayers are with you and I personally care about you even if I don't know you on a real level. You mean a lot to me and many other people. Never lose your passion and desire for life, man. Life is worth living. Your life, you are life, has real significance and purpose. I understand the reasons for your absence and I will patiently await your return. I personally have hope in Jesus Christ and how one day he will wipe away every tear from our eyes and resurrect the whole world. He's the only person we can't lose even in death. He understands your pain and mine and he himself cares so much that he came into the world to suffer and die with us. He'll also make everything bad come untrue and seem like a bad dream, and yet everything that has happened to us will make us even greater when that day comes. God bless you, Grimoth. Smiley face. The History Buff. I can't pretend to have been in the same boat as you, but a similar situation happened to me last year with my grandfather, whom I lived with up till last year. I am sorry to hear about your personal woes, but I am heartened by your drive to keep moving on. I don't know what else to say, though I feel I must say something. Best of wishes to you and your family. I know it probably means little, me being just another watcher, but my heart goes out to you. Dr. Frankenzoid. Any words I can put together seem hollow here, so I'll just say thank you for all you have shown us all. And it means a lot, at least in my mind, that you are willing to share this with us. Best of luck. Bloodfilex. I have been told I lack empathy. I can't understand the value of family or friends, so please forgive me if it comes off as insincere or aloof when I tell you to be comforting to those around you and roll with the punches over the coming weeks. Uh, understandable, I personally told myself in lieu of my suicidal tendencies that I shouldn't be afraid of death, but so as to avoid causing suffering to those around me, I should try avoiding it as best as possible. That is, whilst maintaining my carefree persona that I wear around my dad's side of the family, distant family members. And now, for my regular goofball comments, and I note that uh, you have a beautiful, beautiful profile picture. Mavis Beacon, and, uh, due to how many comments I have to get to, I won't go clicking through all the timestamps. I do have tendencies to do that, uh, particularly if I'm looking to answer a question in a comment. And Walrus has seen some serious shit, bro, shit you wouldn't believe. Is that a shark? Silly game. Sharks don't live in the Arctic or Antarctic. There's two penguins at the top right. Remember the game? 
should stop clapping so disrespectful to him. That goddamn seal the top left, who the fuck does he think he is spying all the time with those bug eyes of his? And if I may be so bold as to speak for all of us, we thank you, Grimoth. You are a unique and intriguing person in the usually drab and monotonous community of LPing. And your dedication to the viewers is well beyond my expectations. Okay, girls, we just need to get a plumber out to have fights fixed. But Shark Chan just wants you to notice your new ribbon. Baka. Strap in, Grimoth. We've left you the Declaration of Independence in terms of words for this comment section. Or that the gate censorship, Grimoth Gate 2015, the horror. Was how the Lion King made animals dying shallow friendly of the circle of life. Maybe his beacon makes ant genocide cute and cuddly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thanks, Mavis. That dog doesn't give a fuck. Idiotic Ultimaro. Grimith, if you want to look after your family, please do. I am sure we will all understand understand if you either leave us or come back after a very long time. I would shut down my YouTube activities and such to look after look after my parents, especially under a situation where you are where you aware of impending circumstances. I cannot say I understand how you feel. I have not gone through the same situation, other than when I auntie had incurable cancer and I had to see how it affected my dad. However, I am well aware that family comes before anyone. I am glad you have told us about your current situation, if only to allow us to realize where you have been, and understand if you do not come back in a while, even if you have said activities will resume soon. So please, Grimith, do what you think is best for yourself as well as your family. Ignore us, unless we are a good distraction. We are only here because you entertain us, but we are not important. Red skill for life. Hey, Grimoth, I just wanted to say that I send my deepest prayers to you and your family during this rough time. I have never experienced what you are going through, and I'm sure that it's extremely rough for you, but there's always a rainbow at the end of a storm, right? How, how, no matter how hard life may seem, there's always something to hold on to during the harshest of trials. You and your videos have always been there to help me during my rough times of life, and this is the best way that I could even come close to showing my gratitude. Stay strong, man. Thank you for everything. Thomas Neely. My sympathy is superfluous, therefore all I can do is give a toast to good mental health to us all. On a side note, I have personally become unsympathetic to such woes due to the numbness of it happening to me on multiple, roughly eight occasions, with my own father. Cobrag. Hello, Cobrag. You, you have all my empathy, Grimoth. I've been through it twice, the first incident no over a few years. I have already informed you about the second instance, having stated that I only could get through it with the distraction of your channel, the Age of Darkness campaign. Though I don't expect you to ask, I will try to be here for you if you need it. Huggles. Cloudsky. Hello, Cloudsky. I knew before I really started watching that this wasn't a jolly good video. I knew something was up before I clicked. Hints on the Twitter got me thinking it was something along this point. My well wishes go out to you and your family. I would have given you the proper full listen if I was not on my way out to work. Something like this deserves it, but time is against me. So, sorry if I just made a bigger fool of myself, only hearing the ten minutes. I remember how much your family means to you. I doubt I could ever quite understand your feelings like this, so I won't insult you by saying so. Take care, Grimoth. I do wish the best for you. That... You know... I like that. Priorities, man. Slacks box. What the fuck, Slacks? What the fuck does that even mean? Fucking obscure cryptic bullshit. Stay there in Europe land with your war garble speak. I don't want any more art from you anyway. <laughs> Although the uh, the image you gave uh, for uh, during the last live broadcast of the Terminator Founder one, that was pretty good. I like that one. I, uh... Nah, who am I kidding? I'm not gonna fucking edit this video or put it up in, like, post-processing. Good joke. Spilsta says, 
Well, Grimmeth, there's only so much anyone or myself can say, I suppose I don't fucking need this in my hair anymore since the dog's not around. I can relate somewhat, sure most can, with my own mother at death's doorstep. Age and illness run any family down, and it does suck the big one, so I really do hope your own parents make it through this tough time and can enjoy time with you. Losing passion for something you love, it breaks the mental state and really does take its toll on oneself, and I can understand and relate personally in some sense how that could cause someone to want to end their own life. I went through the same thing, even though I'm just a young into the world. Sometimes that other end of the spectrum just seems more appealing, even if it might not be to others, only you will understand yourself. I do hope you find more to keep you about, it'd be a real shame to lose you in your personality. I hope things do work out, be it good or bad. Whatever you choose to make you and your family happy is what counts, mate. Thanks for the entertainment and good luck. Might sound like a lo load of gobshite due to it being a YouTube comment, but it is... Wackass... 87, Wex. Welcome back, Grimmeth, despite all the turmoil. G-host LPs? Not going to lie, Grim. Over 1,100 videos. You can support the channel on Patreon! What do you have? You've got Dark Souls, you've got Fallout 3... You've got Might and Magic, the world of Zine... Alright! What else you got for me? What if I click Playlist? What will you show me? All Playlists! What are you currently playing? Shadowrun... Dragonfall... All right, created playlists. On this day, created newest oldest is completely rubbish. I remember back in the day when YouTube was more functional. You remember those times? Those were times indeed. When I could click an option and it showed me all the comments. Those were the days. Art. What are you doing? You better roll over. Submit! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I rub your palm. And I understand. I just get too excited while you're on my lap so close to me. And I'm talking so much. Your intelligence score is so low you think I'm talking to you. I know. Okay. I'll love on your paw. I'm reading. They can't see you. But I know you're there. That's all they match. Oh. Yes. Yes, licks for me. Woohoo. Yes. Anyway, where was I? Ravenloft. I have the beholder three. Oh, right. Yes. Where was I? Not gonna lie, Grim. This was hard to listen to. Still, thank you for keeping us all in the loop. We'll be here when you get back. Take all the time you need. I gonna fi er, 24. A few whinge videos here and there. Never heard anyone. P.S. You're my favorite submissive masochist. This is what sparked the conversation whenever this popped up in my, my little dashboard preview. When I was checking YouTube. Oh, uh, one day... I have hair all over my shirt. I suppose it's not unlike using the damn roller on you. Uh, yes. You are my favorite submissive masochist. What the fuck does that mean? I, like, ask Lethal, who's, like, the closest person on the internet who would know the most about my personality. It's like, you think I'm... <laughs> Lethal's like, masochist? Probably in the same vein that I'm a masochist and that we play terrible games and we keep playing terrible games. To which I replied, I've, st I've been thinking about playing Daggerfall and I found a subreddit that's devoted to Daggerfall and I told Lethal, I was like, this is the one thing on Reddit that I'm like, all right. And I haven't looked at it since I found it. <laughs> I might do that though after this video. I know, I was like, yeah. I learned about things I never knew about the game and I'm like, I want to play the game again. So, in that aspect, sure. Submissive? Your mileage may vary, I guess. I don't know. I do dominant things, too. Get fucked. I'm glad you are still alive. I recommend taking regular walks or exercise to improve mental health and avoiding death. 
I got that covered. Get out of my face. Go on. Go on. I guess you can move nine inches and consider that to have been going on. I reckon. Dunkles on. Yep, I can relate alcoholic parents and life choices I wanted to take but couldn't. And the depression more or less serious. I don't think I can add anything measurable to the touching comments people have given here, but the stuff you've done on this channel has kept me up through desperate times, no joke. You can give good things in life. The comments here are proof of that, too. I know simple words can't give much shelter during such desperate times, but try to bunker up to the worst. My hair hasn't been this long since I've been a kid. I've actually, uh, taken to tying it up in a bun regularly, not just so the dog fucks with it, but, uh, to prevent it from rubbing all over my glasses. I think it's been... Eight or nine months since I've had a haircut. Uh, back whenever I was a kid, I used to have long hair. It was pretty fun. Uh, but one of the reasons... Uh, well, there are two reasons. Uh, two key reasons why I decided to go with short hair. The first was uh, due to the maintenance of long hair. I would uh, like to throw it in a hat. For... Uh, maybe like three days at a time without brushing it, and then endure the pain of brushing it. The second was because I got tired of old people. I got tired of old people commenting, uh, complimenting my mom on the pretty girl she had. I broke it to mom. Uh, we actually got into this conversation several days ago. Uh, one thing led to another, uh, where we were just joking around. Uh, and, uh, I said, you know, I still, I, I fucking resent old people. Like, uh, you know, I told her, you know, like, the story, like, I haven't let that go, Mom. You think I'm kidding? That's serious. And, uh, I, you know, like, bye -bye. And she started, like, trying to defend old people. By, like, you know, just take the damn compliment. And then old people have interesting and good stories. You know, she started referring to my dad's stepmom before she died, who had, like, cool stories. I'm like, no. Old people seldom have anything interesting to say. They're fucking entitled bullshit. Want us all like fucking walk around with our noses up their asses? Fucking think they're entitled to the world while simultaneously thinking we're all entitled. And she said, one day I'm going to be old. And I said, well, <laughs> we're going to have to reconcile our feelings for each other. <laughs> Uh, try to bunker up through the worst. Fire Destroyer. I typed something cheesy and positive. Look, bitch. It's like in the fucking 60s. Well, okay. It's not that cold in my room, although I'd like it to be. But we're certainly in the low to mid 70s. Okay, you're not panting, you're sniffing around. I. My carpet. I try to type something cheesy and positive, but I know enough psychological war garble to know that won't help. And if it did, people have already done it. Woo! Redundancy! And all I can say is that your videos break the tedium I feel on a daily basis. So thanks and all that, although all that is limited entirely just thanks, making this even more redundant. I think I just typed something cheesy and negative with a positive tone. Or maybe cheesy and positive with a negative tone? One of the two. I'm starting to regret allowing you up here for this video. You have injected nothing. You are more of a... You're more of a dead weight than J2, damn it. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you are. No matter how much you wag that fucking tail, you're contributing nothing of worth. Nothing. I mean, if I took the webcam off the monitor and I held it down to you and you fucking, we had you like do tricks and shit, I guess that would be cool. Fucking useless. I made a mistake. You are a worse mistake than Titans of Steel was. There. That is a declarative, emphatic sentence. A 
I'm really glad I hung in for all of that. It's a hard topic to discuss. I've had my fair share of ups and downs with my own life already, but there's all hardships that's very, very enlightening to others. And if there's one thing you've done for me, Grimmith, it's that you've installed me with the passion to always enjoy life no matter what happens. Fantastic. From one historian to another, life's a total and utter bitch. But if there's one thing we can take from history into our own individual lives, it's that, regardless of any extreme hardship, the human spirit always finds a way to pers persevere. Hang in there, Grim. We're all rooting for you. All right, Kyler, Nadia. Horrible. I doubt anyone can really understand how you feel, but for what it is worth from a random commenter from the internet, that I hope you will be okay and do what you need to do. <laughs> it sounds like I'm about to, like, John Wick people, right? <laughs> about to, like, fucking, like, roll Just murder everyone. I see. Do what you need to do. It was just a fucking dog. <laughs> what are you doing? No, crawling to me isn't gonna make shit better. That's it. Get away from me. Lay down. Trying to give these comments the gravitas they deserve. You have done a great deal to entertain. You have done a great deal to entertain in this hobby, and I appreciate what you have done, as I know others have. That you have a connection with your parents, and that you are willing to tell us about all this gives us important context to understand as a person, as well as a person behind the games. That matters a lot, and that commitment is important as a whole. Please take care of yourself and do what you need to do. I look forward to whatever you choose to do on the 18th. Austin, I greatly appreciate what you do to bring us all joy. Wilhelm II. I know no words of mine can really make your situation better, Grim, but I just want to say I'm thankful for all the years of entertainment you gave us. I hope you and your parents make the most out of every moment you have together. Now, uh... Will here has uh, uploaded a few adorable things pertaining to this channel and other adorable things. There's uh, the truth smells like potatoes, a criticism, or you dress funny. Uh, might be another thing, too, that I just can't remember. I don't think so, though. SKS intro theme, oh my. So, there's that. The truth smells like potatoes. I'm going to be more open about myself than I usually am on the internet. The man who married my mother after my father cut and ran, who raised my sister and I as his own, died four and a half years ago after an extremely long, slow slide down involving multiple cancer diagnoses, the loss of most of a lung, and a stoma. It hurt to see. It still hurts to miss him every day. My mother is in poor health due to hereditary joint problems and their resultant complications. She may last a decade, she may pass tomorrow, it hurts to see, it will hurt when she dies. Going entirely by your Q&A sessions, we are much alike, separated mostly by time and grade. I have about a decade on you. Highly intelligent, little patience for stupidity, past suicide attempt, logical and rational worldview, fascination with words and how they are used, and so on. I know at least some of what you're going through. Uh, it'll be a walk through hell with the only prize at the end, the ashes smeared on your skin. And yet it is still worth doing, even if you and I are not inclined to religious beliefs. The lack of religious belief, in some ways, makes it even more important. All we leave behind is what we do and who we touch. And while you are prone to deprecate your value to others, even with my ten years' advantage, you have touched far more lives than I have. You've made more people forget their own problems for a moment in your so far five-year run than I will ever be able to. All through the simple act of sharing what you do openly, freely, in a way I'm incapable of. You defy the odds and bring a flicker of relief to those in dark times. The grim, dark reality of Warhammer 40k is the 41st millennium for more than a hundred centuries. The rotting carcass of the Emperor rests in the Golden Throne. Uh, and all we can do when you're in equally dark times is this. 
words. Clumsy tools they may be are all we can give. Quips, quotes, long-winded blather, whatever you might call it. We know the words aren't worth the paper they're printed on, and yet we try anyway, because to give up, to go gentle into that good night, rage, rage against the dawning of the light, dying of the light. Huh. Feels like a betrayal. Feels like looking at all the pieces of you shared with all of us and marking them as valueless, even with when a shared laugh or a moment of sadness or even schadenfreude has made the difference between a survival day and an intolerable one. I don't know how long your season in hell will be. I hope you make it through. And if you need a shoulder to lean on for a stretch, the least I can give back is that. Just ask. Hugs, Griffith, and ever let's go. Mam Mambo Ram Rambo? Mambo Rambo? Mambo Rambo? Rambo? Look, bitch. I didn't vacuum not that long ago. What the fuck do you find tasty? Yourself? Me? I mean, I suppose I didn't perfectly get right next to the piece of furniture. So maybe there's something left. Maybe, just maybe, you could be an awesome pet and eat insects instead of looking at me helplessly. That is an advantage. Cats in this family in the past had over you. They hate pests. You, you tolerate them. Not unlike how I tolerate you. I really hope you will have happier times sooner rather than later, but they will come. I'm truly thankful for your videos and entertainment they have brought me. They have brought happiness in my life. You disgusting bitch! I am recording here! <laughs> okay. I take back everything I said. Allowing you into my room for this was one of the 25 greatest ideas I've had pertaining to the zombie. You're okay. Now shut the fuck up. <laughs> that energy explosion was pretty neat. Their screams at not being eaten made that game terrifying for me. Uh, the Connell from Bubba the Vulture is an event that's Again, like a crazy, from the, uh, uh, the, the god of, like, drunken revelry, Bacchus. Uh, like a crazy drunken orgy. Uh, I used to live by a restaurant named Bacchus, and always wondered if there were crazy orgies happening. It was probably just Mediterranean food. Not everything can have the intensity of typing of the dead. Also, refulgent is one I don't know. Motherfucker. Forgotten it. What was it? Uh, brightly lit? Bitch! Now I'm gonna have to look it up after this video. I'm not looking up now. Uh, I hope that leaving timestamp comments doesn't mean I missed the entire point of the video. I can't imagine I would have an insight in your situation that you yourself haven't already had. That said, if there's any support I can provide, don't hesitate to reach out. Bean, who was also listening, wanted me to express that she wishes you well and that you are in our thoughts. Affable Giraffable writes, I'm really sorry to hear about your dad and family. I don't know what to say, but I, for one, am glad you are alive, too. I am Ryan LPs. Only just seen this, been on holiday. You're never alone, your mouth. Remember that. Tayama? Hello, Tayama. Shit, Grimoth. How did I miss this in my subscriptions? I don't even have a fucking excuse, because you haven't even been fucking uploading anything. You haven't been spamming my box with shit? Ah, fuck, I'm sorry. In a case of extremely horrifying parallel, while I was watching this, my own mother almost committed suicide in this very house by shooting herself. Huh. Stranger than fiction. She's fine, she's not hurt, they both miss, but, well, let's just say I'm thinking that you and I both made the right choice by staying with our parents. 
My mother is living on borrowed time to it in plenty of pain. So I guess the point of that was, beyond sharing the horrifying parallel, listening to parental problems while they occur unbeknownst to me in the background, I know your feelings and I hope we both can make it through. I sent you some money in case that helps. Oh, where the fuck's the puns? Do I need to fucking play Wall Street Kid again? Or maybe install you as another Romance of the Three Kingdoms character so that you can fucking ruin everything with your goddamn lightning? What the fuck? I'm pretty convinced that when you hear me yell, you think I'm yelling at you. As you roll over submissively. I'm not mad at you. You are too adorable and obedient for me to be mad at you. You love my priorities there, right? Adorable and obedient. I am a sexist pig. All right, SKS. Grimoth, I will admit, I am not one to know how you feel, what you are going through, or what you are about to experience. I didn't say you could lick my feet. All I can do is speak from my personal experiences. Look, I'm trying to focus on SKS here. Everyone loses passions at some point or other. I lost the love of history at a point, and look at me now. <laughs> I have also experienced loss through divorce, death, and unforeseen circumstances. While I will not tell you it will always turn out rosy, nor that it will make you a better person, I will say this. You will find out who you are, how strong you truly are, and whom your real friends are. My life did a number of 360s before I started heading in the right direction. I pray daily that you will have some similar insight that the right direction will be open for you. I truly do not believe you have lost your love for history. I can tell this when you talk with myself and others in streams. Whether it's a sarcastic insult involving Andrew Johnson or a smear campaign against Northern Generals, you spark with that love you truly have. I do hope you push for that teaching position someday. I believe it will transition you to where you are in reality and show you that fire still yearns inside of you. With all this said, you better let me know if you need anything. I have a month of summer left and I do not care one damn bit to drive down to South Carolina if your family or you need anything. You know how to get in touch. Your friend always. Your friend always, who is thankful for everything you have done, your advice, and your criticism. First blood. I don't even want to wipe my eyes with my hands. Because I've been petting you. It made you jump though, didn't it? Squid Asylum. I can't say I know what you're going through. I have no insight into your life or mind. And I'm not that good at understanding other people anyway, but I can say this. I have more or less accepted that I will always be plagued by severe depression. Something vital in my mind has snapped and it can't be fixed. But this hobby of yours, you have been sharing with us, has rarely failed to elevate my spirits. So I guess I just wanted to say thanks. Also, I got Pepsi up my nose from the Anvo. Good job, your Pepsi. <laughs> You're welcome. Real Winters. Thoughts are with you and your family, Grimoth. I've been around for a little while, but I don't comment much. I'm a history student at the moment, and I'm looking to teach when I finish studying. And while studying, I have watched your Vampire the Masquerade series and All Flesh Must Be In series, and currently making my way through your age, 13th age videos. I find something going on in the background helps me study, as I don't sit in silence and get completely bored by whatever book I'm having to read through. So thank you for those videos. I have found them particularly helpful. I had a pretty terrible year, and for me I think my passion for history was what I fell back on, so I feel lucky that I'm still heading towards my goal. I hope you find your passion again. If not for history, then just something else you enjoy and feel strongly about. Wow, this was a really long comment with a lot of rambling. I guess this is all supposed to just say, My thoughts are with you and your family, and thank you for what you do. You make a pretty big difference for a lot of people. If you read this entire wall of text, I am sorry, but also, well done.
J.P. Uriarte? Uriarte? God damn it, Grimmins, you made me feel very upset. I watched this video last night, I was out of the country when you posted it. First, first things first, I'm truly sorry about your dad and mom. I commented once about something stupid. I think it was about SKS's 9-11 joke, but this comment is much more important. I know what it's like to try to commit suicide on multiple occasions. Because of you, I found SKS, J2, Jeff, Lethal, Effing, and Tailmange, plus many more. I know what it's like to watch someone pass away. Not a fun thing. I watched my best friend die in front of my eyes. I'll never forget that moment. We both have a love of history. I also lost my love for the subject. I enjoy watching you play video games badly. And I don't mean like you suck, I mean it as a compliment. <laughs> my confidence is not so fantastic, so watching you play games like SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 with J2 as the commentators makes me laugh for days, or when you played the Jackbox Party Pack. I rewatch those videos all the time. I guess what I'm trying to say is if you have to stop for a while to take care of your folks, that's okay. I know I won't go anywhere. Finally, thank you, Grimmeth, and take care. I'll keep you and your folks in my prayers. I wish I could give you a hug. From the Serpent's Stare. Price Mac. How to make a heat trap less of a heat trap. Paint the roof white. Uh-huh. Reflect more of the sun's heat away, thus reducing the heat coming in from the above. Cover all windows. Uh-huh. If there is a sunbeam in your room, it's a spear of heat killing it, kill it by blocking out windows. If there is a cooler part of your room, uh-uh, make sure air conditioner isn't blowing towards it. A shallow tray of water directly in front of your AC unit or fan will help to further cool the air. Hmm. Not one I haven't tried. You probably wouldn't behave too well with a shallow tray of water, though. I know you. I know when you get fucking excited, you just gallivant around the room. Without a care. Good luck out there from Toll Panzer. Cold Cyrus? Cyrus? Long time viewer here, Grimmeth. I do recognize the name. I don't have any profound words of wisdom. I can't give you life advice because I'm dealing with my own mortality as it is. Even in the darkest of times, sitting in my own home, looking at the stains on the counter, where I had made an attempt of at my own life, contemplating the impact it may or may not have had on the people around me, your channel and several others helped me pass the time just long enough to keep those thoughts at bay. Thanks, Grimoth. Thanks for all the time you've given to this hobby and to the entertainment you've provided. Taraji, 888, best wishes for you and your family, Grimoth. Alec owns you. This was surprisingly depressing. Elise us. Hey there, Lee. After watching this, I thought for a while about what I should write, and everything I can come up with seemed pretty trite. I'm clearly more limited in the awesome intellect area. <laughs> I understand some of the things you're going through and I'm thinking of you. There, I solved everything. Troll 14, I wish I had appropriate words of encouragement or could properly convey both my sympathies and gratitude respectively for your current situation and everything you have done for me just by providing your humor and content. So with that out of the way, all I have to say, you can take me any day. The AC unit can come too. All right. Uh, Mihomiti, Grimeth, I'm grateful for you and what you do. People don't say so enough. Uh, Ryus Fox, Ryus Fox, Grimeth, come what may, you won't age a day. Uh, you've got the support of another long-time watcher. No matter what you decide, no matter what you decide, period. I have not been through this kind of situation, so all I can really grasp is that it's rough on you and your family. As a matter of understatement, do what you feel you should. Thank you for the videos you've made. Thank you for these glimpses as well. Of course, take it how you will. I am the wise arse that asked if chat got you to roll for sand after voting in favor of a mature decision on one game. Don't remember the title, but it was by some psychologist, I think. Alter ego, perhaps? Digression aside, thanks, Grimoth, for everything you've done with your channel, directly and indirectly. Jimone. Who has done some fan art for the channel? I myself have people with health problems in my family, so I kind of know how you feel. As an intellectual individual myself who understands his own many flaws, I also know how you feel about that. For the last couple of years, I've had some depressing thoughts about my purpose in life, and some of those were due to remarks by my parents, even though I know they want the best for me. But that's enough about me. Thank you, Grimoth, for all your countless hours of entertainment and distractions of more important things. We thank you for providing us with content to watch while procrastinating. And most importantly, thank you for enduring the huge amounts of chuckle fuckery that you've had to live with throughout the years you've done this hobby. Karen. Corinthius? God, I feel like we've had this discussion every time I've read out your name. <laughs> Kerr. 
I assume something like this was why you took a break. Entirely understandable you wouldn't feel like recording videos for the internet at a time like that. I'll just say this. Thanks for all the entertainment you've given us over the years so far. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of it when you're back. Thirdly, to do A, I wish the best for you and your family, and thank you, Grimith, for all the time you put into this hobby. Catris Vale. Catris Vale. Catris Vale. Zvav Zvale. <laughs> Cat. Catra. Ka. K. K. Grim, I love your channel. I love your commentary and intellectual play style. I'm greatly saddened to hear of your issues and wish you well with what endeavors you partake of. I hope to see more videos from you, but I can understand family first. I would remind you, though, that you cannot forget to take care of yourself through your struggles. We, as your fans and friends, are here even as comment boxes if you should need us. Death or glory for gaming. The more the smooth jazz played, the more it asserted itself as a perfect fit for the content of this video. Good to hear you're not dead, sad to hear what you're going through. I simply can't convey a pat on the back. You're going to be okay, buddy. Why, yes, I can. A Colby Carruthers. I may be just a chuckle fuck. Uh, <laughs> chuck fuck. <laughs> but I sincerely hope you and your family gets better. Zerfall. 40 degrees is too damn hot. Consider moving to northern Ontario, perhaps even Nunavut for the summer months. Zerfall wrote the longest of all feedback for this video in the form of an email address, which might as well have been a fucking research paper. I considered reading that out. But he was so revelatory about so many personal details about himself uh, that I decided I wouldn't. Uh, similarly, there are several PMs I received through YouTube. Uh, and usually, this is why people have been known to contact me through Hushmail, I, uh, I'll do a big expose and reveal names and shit. You send stuff to me, you, uh, you are surrendering all hope. And I will use it any way I want. But in this, in this limited circumstance, I'll, uh, I'll put down my axe, stop grinding it, we move on. Matthew Crazer, my birthday is on July 18th. Surely this is a sign. Yep. Fire melons. Grimoth, keep doing what you what have to do. Keep doing what you love to do. We will still be here when you're done. Cyrix Typhon, I just discovered your channel while watching Jeff Major for years and Plump as well for a few months. I stumbled upon mention of you, decided to check out your channel. For what it's worth, your impossible roleplay is System Shock 2 and Deus Ex Let's Play. Wait, wait, wait. Someone liked the System Shock 2 series? Holy shit! Flip desk. Help me to get through pretty rough times just recently. You make awesome stuff. I wish the best for you. Thunderbolt Jack, you're a very noble man, Mr. I... I don't know about noble. No. Oh, yes. There we are. I'll we'll just speak with this voice for the rest of the, the video. You're a very noble man, Mr. Grimmeth. I look forward to seeing you in a better state. May your family be happy in their passing. Legendary Marvin, whom, by the way, records series of his own, he also does live broadcasts. The problem is a language barrier. You need to understand German, or at least understand the game he's playing. Like, I can watch him play Europa Universalis 4 because I understand the game. Not so much the German. In situate no, right, that's enough. In situations like this, there are many things one can say. I fear I heard most of them during the several calamities of my life, and of course you may feel differently. As far as I recall, all of them simply annoyed me instead of helping even a shred. So all I say is I'm sorry and I wish you all the best What are you sorry for? You have nothing to be sorry about. Why are you apologizing? <laughs> Larian? Hi Larian. I've wanted to type long post, but I scrapped it a couple of times. 
I've been living in exact same situation as you for the last four years, with Dad's health going down and down each month more. It seems to have improved ever since he stopped abusing alcohol and six completely, but damage has been done. I seriously don't know what I would do with my life once both of my folks are gone. I thought of writing off my apartment to my niece already because I am not sure if I want to go on after they pass away. So yeah, I can kind of understand what you were going through. I did find passion and a sense of watching LPs, so you kind of been helping there a lot. So thank you for doing this hobby. There's a toll. You do have one hell of a legacy of LPs anyway if you do leave. Also, the lounge music totally made me feel like I took you out to lunch because I was worried about you. <laughs> you just take me to, like, this completely fucking inappropriate place. You've got, like, uh, Richard Cheese out of the background. Why'd you leave the keys upon the table? Because you wanted to. <laughs> fucking, like, lounge music in the background. Like, eating, like, these fucking, like, not just, like, rolls, but the, like, goddamn, like, breadsticks. Like, looking at you, like, even breadsticks. They're, like, those breadstick-like things, like, focaccia. F-O-C-C-A-C-I-A? -A? Whatever. I, I, I call them breadsticks anyway to piss off people. Um. So, yeah, those fancy things, and I'm, like, looking at you. And I'm like holding one of them like The fuck are we doing here? You're like, I was worried about you Reach over like fucking hit you upside the forehead Break the damn thing But I think the connections and goodwill that you established through this hobby Are perhaps the pinnacle of humans ability to do so through YouTube Price Mac I'm just a man Grimith, a random stranger But if you wanted to delve deep into moral quandaries I've come out of a similar dark place recently Poor Mac Poor Mac who has fucking uploading 19 bajillion videos or according to YouTube only 6,830 might as well be 19 bajillion that's pretty rough Grimoth. silly to hope for improvement sometimes but I hope you and your mother can make it through the situation intact and everything happens peacefully quite a lot to lay out there but I'm sure everyone appreciates you taking the time to do it from from myself, I just want to say, take your time, no rush, come back to this hobby when you feel ready and deal with situations close to home first. Dim light, all I can think to say is thank you so much for everything over the years, Kermit. Ezio, I don't really have much to say, especially after reading Russ's comment. He kind of out-cheesed me before I even had a chance to cheese. Well, shit. And I also just had to press the back button on my mouse in the middle of writing it. That's why you write things in, like, something that auto-saves. I like to use uh, a Google Doc. Uh, Notepad is also a pretty strong companion, although that certainly doesn't auto save. Uh, but Notepad just so damn convenient. Uh, first of all, I would very much like to reiterate what Russ said. Thank you. I mean it. When my own grandfather passed away, this would have been where I spent most of my time, and I don't think I could have managed this thing without that. The lol I don't care attitude you have just brightened me. Thank you for helping me get through that. And and for the past few years, it's been the same. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I pretty much exclusively watch your videos. You're just one of those YouTubers that you don't just watch, you hang out with them and have fun with them. Through the YouTube comments, and most more recently through Hitbox, we laugh with you and share in the fun we've had together. So thank you for everything over the past three to four years, and I hope... Or three quarters years. And I hope that you can get through this too. Have a good night, Grim. My thoughts go with you. My those go with you. Thou's? No. Mage Prince, 893, my prayers are with you and your family. Grimoth, I love your videos and have been watching for a couple of years. I'm just glad you found the strength to do what you did, man. Thanks for every laugh and every piece of wisdom. Whew. I... This is totally another one of the names I have problems with. I feel like we've been here before. <laughs> I'm just going to call you the Knights of Knee. Thank you for not scrapping the video and for reading this. Although I'm familiar with the issue of having a father with failing health, I don't think I can give you any insightful advice on how to improve your life. There are nuances to everyone's experiences, and your outlook in life is decidedly not the same as mine or anyone else's for that matter. The best I can do is say this. Try to keep an open mind to opportunities that may arise. One of them might end up being relevant to your goals, even if that wasn't immediately apparent. 
Take care. Question mark. Fucking life sucks. I feel for you, my friend. I really do, and I hope things work out. I have no prolific words. I do enjoy your work and would like it to continue, but not at the cost of your life. Well, that will be my fave. As SKS said, I also pray for you and yours daily. Be well. Metal Slime Hunt. Man, just... Fuck. Metal Slime Hunt has been around for fucking... Ever. Fan fiction writer extraordinaire. I can count on him to provide the... The good stuff whenever I need it. I don't think there's anything I can put here that won't come across as insincere since I'm just a comment box. But I hope you hold on to meaning in your life, whatever form that takes for you. Luck, for, luck of Duck says plus one for the above. Just fuck. Chandler Long, who has uh, been losing his fucking mind over the lack of tabletop videos. <laughs> Have a good night, Grim. Have a good night. Shane Stevens, I suppose I could say more, but I'm not good at communicating my feelings and thoughts, so I just joined the Hugs and Pillows fan. <laughs> Chuckle Fox, what is your profession? Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh. Jacked your attention again. I did. You've been well behaved. You always are so well behaved and quiet too. You don't bark. Except when there's something really bad happening. And you go like wolf. All quiet and shit. When you're really, really excited and anxious. Then you'll yelp. You're so well behaved. You were a rescue story. You're named Indy because mom found you as a stray animal, a puppy chasing after deer playing in a field three and a half years ago. Now look at you. Getting hair all over my room. You've gotten fat and I don't know about happy you certainly gotten fat of all the food gifts you've been given. Which I don't really provide. You're a brindle dog. So you get heated so easily. I need to buy you another bone. I'm going through your last one. And I didn't have the chance to do that today. Or rather, I did have... I gotta get back to YouTube now. Uh, right. Hugs and pillows, phalanx. Chandler Long once again writes, I say that my heart goes out to you and your family, and I hope your dad will have good luck and live on. My heart, hell, all of our hearts go out to you and your family. Biodissonance, thanks for giving us a brief glimpse into your headspace. While it's difficult, find a desire to communicate with others sometimes. It allows for some unforeseen reflection. I appreciate the time you spent with us. Through your hobby, you provided distraction, some insights, and humor when it's been lacking in life. Take care of yourself, Grimith. All the edits are in second thoughts. Shaman490, Grimith, I see your update video, and about 50 seconds into it, I see your smiling lady. I am intimidated. I am afraid to think of what happens on the 18th. Uh, I'm afraid to think of what led you to this. I'm scared, Grimith. Won't you hold me for the next 37 minutes? Uh, after properly listening to the video, forget holding me, Grimmoth. I offered the same to you. You needs it more than my petty intimidation. <laughs> I know, Mavis Beacon. Very intimidating. Chandler Long feels another, but he's another comment. I feel sad. Effing controller. Hey, effing. Also uploads videos. Involving naval combat. I just want to give you a big manly hug. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you and your family. And, uh... Here's, uh, the top comment. 
Uh, YouTube has decided that this is Russ's comment, I imagine, in part because of all the thumbs-ups and all of the replies given to it. Uh, lies. I'm not one to write a large blurb of text trying to inspire and perk people up, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'll just say this. I'm sorry to hear about the recent series of events, and I wish you all the best. I, as well as many others, cherish the time you put forth into making this channel somewhere where many of us can escape our problems. Forget about how life rough can be, and instead just sit back, laugh, and hang out. I can say this without a doubt. Hey! I'm reading Russ's comment! Watching and participating on your channel and streams has helped me grow as a person. I began to try new things, think things through in different ways, see things in a different light. I'm sorry, I can't think of a non-cheesy way to phrase that. You showed me other great people who I would never have known of. Lethal, SKS, J2, Jeff, Revocane, Griff, Variax, and Rahal, to name a few. And through them and yourself, I've spent countless hours in nothing but a good mood. All of that started here, when I stumbled on this channel four years ago and I still can't believe that so much time has flown by. At this point, I'm going to clarify my first statement. Not saying that I wasn't going to write a large blurb of text, but merely commented on the subject matter, because I accidentally wall of texted that a little. Since this came up at 5 something a.m., have a good night. Morning. Edit, of course I forgot the most important thing. Thank you, Grimoth. All right. With replies from Chandler Long, thank you, Grimoth. Yep, only with Jeff being the initiator for me, exactly the same thing here from Tegurkin. Edzio, plus one, thank you, Grimoth. Michael Hall, who writes, thank you, Grimoth. I'm not one for really getting my metaphorical voice out there, but thank you. You'll probably sit back in your chair one day and come scrolling through your comments section and see a bunch of familiar new faces trying to cheer you up and thank you for everything. And I'm just another one of those new faces flooding into the picture frame. Ron says it all, though. I wish you the best, Grimoth. And Wheaties Manchild, thank you, Grimoth. Okay. Here, I'll itch your head for you. I see you trying to do it all pathetically. I call you fat. It's not entirely true, but uh, you certainly are showing the signs of eating well. But all you have to do is look at me and you can tell I eat well. Well, I suppose that's not entirely true in 2015. I could eat pretty poorly and still be this size, right? You okay? Yes. Yes. I love on you. I'm gonna try to get up here one more time. I'm gonna try getting up here one more time. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you know, you did this so much better when you were a puppy. You did. <laughs> now you're not even... Do you not want to get up into my lap? Maybe that's it. Maybe I should be less stupid, huh? Maybe you don't want to get into my lap when I'm the chair. You know, you're not a cat. You're not the spryest of animals, although you have jumped considerable distances. Okay. Maybe you're just so camera shy, you're not ready for your big internet debut yet. You remember what happened this Sunday? You're all like, Howie, you embarrass me. I know. I'm a terrible person. Oh, look, I need to get back into this video. So while she's losing her mind back there. How's <laughs> that? Channel like activities will resume. Uh, not as uh, strong or as intense as I thought they might have. I did call 911 last week and uh, put my father in an ambulance. And I'm currently alone in the house watching over as a result. So, my availability, which I thought might be better, is less better. But we'll still have things to do. We'll have some free space. We'll have some Arcanum. We'll have some other stuff. 
tabletop games, uh, Jackbox Party Pack, the second session of that. I still have to decide whether I want to upload that because there was a thing involving Queen. And that one thing is strongly making me considering deleting the entire thing because God, that still pisses me off. 80 minutes? Audio is processing too slow. That's the first time I've seen that warning. Huh. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> but yes, it's completely fucking broken. And and auto detail focusing that the webcam does. Uh, we're out of here. No, I am done. I